Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle, or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business. No Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Man, it's hot today, man. Chavez, the asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I'm Maurice Chavez. Welcome back. I used to be a performance player. Now I'm running on the big show. Funny how things turn out, eh? <laughs> or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio with free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we do. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive things. A healthy mental attitude. We've got a goth depressive. We've got a... ...speaker with a number of... Wishes and champagne dreams. Big and beautiful, that's me. <laughs> My livelihood destroyed. Mercedes, remember the name.
Oh my god, no you didn't. Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't you forgot to see you, about you. some women, like you, Amy, as mere sex toys. Things for their amusement. Unbelievable! Or that men actually find sports interesting. It's appalling. And they run the world, my pretty. Oh, yes, they run the world. They do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home and bake cookies. Oh, screw that, sweetheart. Yes, I agree. Don't bake a cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking tray instead. He's a brainless dolt. He's a man. Two men enjoy working in pictures. Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Lovefist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in a Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> uh, Jez, you remember. Lovefist. Don't be playing them games with me, Ginger. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Like good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old hands, your father. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fest, yeah, nice beauty, you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, can? Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You can do boys. that for the boys, right?
kill a man with your bare hands and do it all with pride. The military teaches you all the skills you'll need later in life. Call 1-800-BE-A-HERO and become a real man today. Why are you waving your hands around oh, my face? I'm supposed to be at a commercial. a space traveler with a passion for justice. It's Yuppie and the Alien. Look, you might looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. I'm so terribly sorry, Captain. Duh, Goog, I'm sorry. Don't miss this one-of-a-kind police drama. They're fighting crime the hard way. In designer clothes with a quarter of a million dollar sports car and a UFO. Partner, let's go cruise the car the moody. One tough downtown precinct. Two outsiders doing things their way. Yuppie and the Alien on VBC. Hi, I'm BJ Smith, tied in for the Vice City Mamas and proud proprietor of BJ's Used Auto. Cars from all over America come to find a new home in Florida. Just like you. I moved here after the draft. Football, uh, not Vietnam. We know they do it like God. Hey, Mike. The guys are there with some company, if you know what's going on. I know just the girl. More mood swings than your pregnant. As a pro football player to the used car business. Smash, grab, and run like it. BK's used autos. I'm tackling low prices with hot cars. If for some reason you'd like to. I left my broken-hearted husband and baby behind. Now I'm living in a commune with a series of life parties, having quite a simple, amazing experience. I got my inspiration from my lecture you gave last year. Thank you so much. You taught me a lot. Amazing. But ask yourself, are you doing this? It sounds to me like you're living a lie. Your life is still very man-centric. You're still justifying yourself by the I am not, rather than the I am principle. I mean, really. You might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half-hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But, uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony! Prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer! You see, Amy, that's the thing about people. They're so half-hearted. Pick and mix. Not prepared to care. She tried to kill her brother. Don't argue with me. Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect returned. But in sort of a silly way. Really? Yeah, you know, burning my bra, beating a policeman, shooting my dad and stuff. Just lying around. I didn't really understand the feelings I was having. Mm. I know the weirdest and troubles of the half-hearted. Then, after this I see you later, big boy. Rest of academia. I thought she expressed herself poorly and didn't know what she was saying. Probably burned her husband's cakes or something. This is all so confusing. Everything has two meanings. Exactly. Apart from the word of the word, which has the 
You can choose to be a victim, Amy. But after you read my book, you'll realize men are irrelevant. Can a man have a baby? Do I need a man to have a baby? No. We don't need men. We need more parts of town we can... How you doing, mate? It's Paolo again. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're gonna need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. There's a biker gang led by Mitch Baker. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. Talk this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage to for the gig, alright? Yeah, Tommy, you're when you come back, we'll have a new guest, and I promise they'll be more interesting than a Michaela crap artist. Michaela. What's the problem? Some bar is refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. In the car, useless. Let the battle begin. Choose sides. The rap war is here. It's time. At least you ain't gonna worry about your looks. needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. 
I don't need this crap. Where are you going, man? Watch Idiots out. Idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Take a chill pill. Sigue caminando. Not that fake Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me any time. Tommy, I done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off, okay? I'll talk to you. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back. And after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs>
how are you? Fight like a real man, you fight like my daughter! Circumstances force a hasty departure. Jump ahead!
Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend, a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Kern. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Sleeping in. I really enjoy living here, but there's not enough booze. It's the funniest, most touching half hour on television. Charlotte, what's that smell? I set the couch on fire again. Yeah, I can help you with that. And this week, it's a very special Just the Five of Us, where an attractive blonde lady tries to steal Jimmy away. Now you talk! It's Just the Five of Us. Friday nights on Hey, Chad, and so are you. If you're listening, I'm here with Australian animal lover, Mr. Zoo. If you've got anything to ask him, why don't you just give us a call right now? Yeah, great. Give us a call right now, and I'll... All right, Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken a fence to you acting like a big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot. Thing. Well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway... I heard there's some fine food for you already, and someone's gonna have a question to watch yourself. And remember me, mate. Eight. Hospitals are for people who don't feel well. I'm at the top of my game. Are you? You're sick and insane, and you need help. I got a. government is doing a good job? Absolutely. Those statistics are interesting, but like all statistics, they are also irrelevant. Let me give you a better statistic, Chavez. In... You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so... I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Take. 
gaggle. Ooh, fits perfectly. Bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Lance, let's get the cops' attention. I've got a baby dwarf giraffe I birthed this morning. See, she's still covering fluid from her mum's womb. Wow, isn't that fabulous? Ooh, that's grody. Uh, what did they make you say of the mental health judge? Nothing, babe. Nothing at all. Long time ago, it was a bad period in my life. I wasn't sleeping, I was heartbroken like a platypus. Do you know a platypus only gets a bill after its mate breaks its heart by sleeping with its brother? I know all about that. I was clawing my eyes out for weeks on all kinds of pills for my nerves. Couldn't move, couldn't talk. I was cooing like a duff. Please, darling, let's move on. Do you want... Now that got them really irritated. Really curious, what did they make you say? I love you. You do? I never knew. They made me say I love you. Oh, I made my boyfriend say it and he slept with my best friend. I think we're morning. No, he ain't morning yet. I made me say I love you to Bobo. Who was Bobo? Bobo was the most beautiful creature that was ever on the earth. Ever at all. Really beautiful. Who is she? He, he, he! Hey, he, he! He was a dolphin, and I loved him, and I knew him properly. He 
people could never understand. It's natural. We were identical from a genetagorical perspective. And Lance, let's get the cops' attention. I got a baby dwarf giraffe I birthed this morning. See, she's still covered in fluid from her mum's womb. Wow, isn't that fabulous? Ooh, that's grody. What did he make you say at the mental health judge? Nothing, babe. Nothing at all. Now that got them really irritated. And he gets a bill after its mate breaks its heart by sleeping with its brother. I know all about that. I was tying my eyes out for weeks on all kinds of pills for my nerves. Couldn't move, couldn't talk. I was cooing like a dove. Please, darling, let's move on. Do you want me to talk to a pal? Now I'm really curious. What did they make you say? You do? I never knew. They made me say I love you. No, oh, I made my boyfriend say it and he slept with my best friend. I think we're bonding now. No! We ain't bonding you half, but the balls are fun! I hate you. They made me say I love you. Oh, my my boy. Boy. Easy 
brother, no cop drives this bad. Got a problem, Jones? Why do you try fighting crime and get away from that microphone, you dumb asshole? You're an asshole, Miller. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking.
Thank you.